What's up, everybody? Crypto Muscle. Coming to you with another YouTube video. So here we are in the Nash right now. We're wise and kid. I am the lone wolf standing on top of the CFX mountain. And I'll tell you why. All right. In a minute here. But I am the epitome of what a crypto person should be, right? You just tell it like it is. Tell how everything is working or not and that's it but why these you know all these people sit there and beat around the bush all the time or lie all the time so here's examples all right you have that bald-headed dildo steve right that does his once a month cash of x videos he's beating around the bush that yeah, this is bullshit this is a is, is trash and it's been over a long time, but he still does his cash of videos, tracking his progress on his little stupid piece of shit uh, spreadsheet. Then you have uh, liars out there that are in this space that I've debunked time and time again. Primarily two big liars in this space that I love to smash on all the time. Marcos, he lies all the time, right? Marcos Caleb, piece of shit liar all the time. But... He didn't talk about cash effects. Here's a cash effects example that was a straight liar all the time. That passive income on autopilot. That douchebag Adam that talks like this. Here, this is a, this is my cash effects update. He sounds like a little dumbass. And he has to go to Asia to pick up a, a chick from Asia because he can't get none over in his little homeland country because he's trash too. So he has to go over to some foreign country pull the wool over her eyes, and she's clueless in, into knowing what crypto is all about. He lies to her all the time about how he's making money to, just to try to be, you know, flashy and all that. And where does he get him? Nothing, because Cash Effects is trash. And what does he do? He trash. He, he took down all his Cash Effects videos and talks about some piece of shit manifest program that he lied about too. And I'll, I'll tell you that in a second. But going back to Cash Effects, this bullshit person all right let me see if i still have him yeah this guy he took down all his cash effects videos right this piece of shit and this dumbass see he only has 44 videos on it because he took down all the cash effects. He used to be all about cash effects every week hey guys let's take a look at what i've earned this week on cash effects as you can see here i've gotten in it and he he compounded his way up to 100k Academy pack. I don't think he ever fully cashed out um, You know the 200% out of that. I could be wrong, but I don't think he did And then he got his dumbass girlfriend in the act Trying to do the same thing for her. I think she got as high as a 70k pack if I don't if I recall correctly and then You know things went by the wayside and the one thing he never showed every week which I showed until cash effects suspended me was that I showed you guys how the withdrawals were just stacking every week. One, that's one. And two, that the withdrawals were taking forever to come out. I mean, you were seeing in an action live how it was going 16 weeks, 20 weeks of just withdrawals pending. No one in this space showed you guys like what I was showing you guys about how it was just pending weeks on weeks on weeks on weeks. And yet, you had all these dumbasses at the time. Yeah, what was that? that other ball headed dildo, Algo Creations, that was pretty much on John Kinnear's nuts all the time. He was doing his little spreadsheet bullshit too. He had some Irish taxi driver from the UK that uh, was all about. He could not wait to upgrade, so he deposited more Bitcoin. I'll never forget that. He deposited more Bitcoin to uh, upgrade because he could not wait for the bullshit weekly results to come out to compound it to his next trade back. So he lost more Bitcoin doing that. And then there was one other guy that stood out to me. Uh, his name is Errol, whatever, right? And, <laughs> and he kept on trying to be positive about how great cash effects is and then his last video which was perfect he said I'll come back 
when cash of X pays that withdrawal, right? Because he's trying to show proof that, hey, they're paying the withdrawals. And everybody else is slamming his comments, talking about how you're not going to get that withdrawal, dude. And he kept on being positive about it, happy-go-lucky kind of guy. I'll give him that. And then he, he said that the next video, he'll come back when he shows proof of withdrawal. And you know what? He has not come back since. And that was the funniest video ever because, and he stood by his word because obviously Cash of X has not paid and he has not come back ever since on YouTube at all whatsoever, which was to me the funniest thing ever. So um, I'll give him that. So where are we at now with Cash of X? Man, it's been since January, not 2023, January 2022. That is the last time that anything has come out of Cash of X. And I kept telling you guys all the time that you're not going to see this thing. You're not going to see it. You're not going to see it. You're not going to see it. You're not gonna, until I was red and blue in my face. And you guys still would not listen. And that the communication was starting to get less and less and less and less from corporate. Right? You know, corporate, Huascar and John. And it's funny how John Kinnear was. Because at first he was kind of like, you know, the right hand man to Oscar, but when when shit started to get bad, all of a sudden he's just a marketing guy and he does not know uh, much more than what he's been told. And if he hasn't been told anything, then he doesn't know anything. It's like, dude, you fucking know what's going on, dude. Why don't you just stop beating the bush too? And how? Hmm, is that the funniest thing? Because you fast forward it a year later. It's the same playbook being played out by your boy over here, ball headed, another ball headed dildo by the name of the Bacon Man, saying the same thing about Coin Market Bull. Man, Coin Market Bull, when that thing was out and running, he was the front man acting like he ran the shit. And he's doing all this stuff with Coin Market Bull, but all of a sudden, when shit hits the fan, in such a short time, too, by the way, only, you know, six months. Compared to Cash of X, yeah, at least two years, man, shit. Uh, you know, two and a half years of Cash of X, actually. But uh, six months with Coin Market Bull. Same playbook being said by this ball headed dildo. Oh, um, I'm just a marketing guy. I don't know much more than what they're telling me. And I'm not getting told anything right now from corporate. So that's all I can tell you. And it's like, dude, you fucking know what's going on. I mean, it's like the same playbook being played all over again. A year later, on a different platform, with another ball-headed dildo. So, it's just this, you know, bullshit that goes on in this space. And all I gotta say is, when I'm telling you guys this information that comes out, and it's all out there. I'm not, I don't have to make shit up. I don't need to make shit up. That's the thing about it. I never have to make shit up. And that's the one thing about it. So, if I have to, why would I have to make shit up for things to happen when it's all out there? The evidence is out there. It's been presenting itself as such. When I kept telling you guys and showing you guys proof that Cash of X has not been paying out, and look how many weeks it's been happening. Week after week after week, trying to debunk the bullshitters, talking about how they're getting paid and all that when they really haven't. Because if they did, Adam would have the balls to show you that he was getting it. But he's not. And he wasn't. That's why Adam... Stop talking about it. He didn't even talk about how cash effects is going bad. He kind of touched on it. Kind of. When he was talking about his manifest bullshit, he he would kind of touch on it about, you know, not, not really manifest. He would do videos about, uh, let's see, right. This stuff about $1,000 a day. If you see the bullshit he talks about, $1,000 a day, even put in CFX. Which, by the way, if you look at that video, he crossed off CFX inside the video, saying that he's still kind of waiting to see what's going on with Cash of X. So when you add up Manifest and Yield Nodes, it was nowhere close to a thousand dollars a day. Maybe at best uh, at a hundred, maybe, maybe a hundred a day. So look at this, look at this buffoon, man. He's a fucking buffoon, and so that's why. He does his bullshit with his manifest garbage. This is this is complete garbage because manifest 
got wrecked. The trader wrecked it. All right. One big time. I would say about a year ago, maybe two years ago, somewhere on there. Wrecked it. So I don't know if they put safeguards in place ever since, but I would not pay a subscription fee to that bullshit when it got wrecked already. One and two, you know how high you gotta pay the subscription monthly? Two hundred bucks a month, five hundred bucks a month. What kind of shit is that? And so here's another thing that he touched on, and he lied about too, by the way, that all the money that's in this trading garbage that he has, not all of it is his money. Half of it belonged to uh, manifest itself. So when you have bullshitters like this in this space, I don't know why you guys follow those type of guys. I, I, I don't get it. Because I've been telling it like it is the whole time since 2019 I've been on YouTube. I've been telling it like it is. I just don't get it. It boggles my mind. So... All these stories that have been coming out, you know, I've been talking about. Let's talk about the latest in cash effects news here. Uh, let's see here. So I want to only go back from as far as a week ago. And uh, this is about the closest I can get to getting any real CFX news because this guy uh, has communications with corporate in some sort of way. Or maybe the director's group, something like that. But, um... He talked about other platforms, this Catly stuff. I don't know. I don't mess with that. So here's something that's new that popped up a couple of days ago here. New card income, instant withdrawals, usable in shops, ATM, 100% automation paid daily in Bitcoin. Click on resources, load your card in your system, back off. How long has this been, been talked about? This has been talked about a year plus ago when they started doing that bullshit bull and bear pay. And that you got to do KYC and all that stuff. And then nothing came out of that, right? And then they would touch on about how they're still trying to work on these things. And, and they, oh, you still haven't uh, submitted your KYC. Commit, you know, continue to submit your KYC. All this other garbage, right? So let's see here. They spelled resources wrong. Uh, use virtual card to shop online. Order your physical card when available to ship. So obviously it's not going to work in U.S. and Canada. Because uh, none of these cards ever do. When it comes to these debit cards, it works anywhere in the world but U.S. and Canada. doesn't matter what company it is. doesn't matter how they'll try to spin it up saying, hey, we're going to try our best to uh, make it work in U.S. and Canada, and it never does. So that's, that's one thing about it. If you have updated your profile in the CFX back office, there are no further steps to be taken at the moment. As soon as we receive confirmation of someone on the team receiving a card, we'll post it here. And to this day, no one has received... Their card. Uh, webinars will be postponed as the company plans to launch new product services and payment processes for the new markets. This is in regards to that AP2C garbage, all right? Today, some members in our team received the debit card. It's happening. Please take the time to update your CFX profile. What kind of, what, what is this? I don't know. I, I'm not believing this. All right, how can it go from something like this to something like this. Wait, what is this crap? I don't know. I'm just not believing it. I, I need more proof. AP2C was a launch of an academy, hence the name. The vision of the next day will come. Uh, true story will be revealed. Just need some patience. Um, and all that. That's what they're saying. So, that, so they were supposed to come out with this webinar. Shit, way back. Man, I don't know. A couple months ago? Beginning of the, the second quarter? And it hasn't been happening. Man, now, here's the third quarter. Doesn't sound like it's going to happen at all in the third quarter. Third quarter is going to run till October. Right? So we'll see, but I doubt it. And here we are, spinning wheels once again. Cash FX is all full of shit. AP2C is garbage because you're just going to end up throwing your money away. And I'm here at the top of the CFX mountain because there's no one else left. So I'm standing on top of it. But I'm trying to tell you guys down below to stop with this bullshit and end this charade already. Stop it, all right? This shit is not going to come back. We all know that. AP2C is just a continuation of trash. Don't fall for it. But I know, and I'm sure you guys will, and the story will just continue. That's your ladies on CFX. Have a good Saturday today as CashFX Saturdays, and I'll see you next one.